Discovery Shark Week 2021 finale is here. Originally premiered on July 17, 1988, featured annually, it was devoted to conservation efforts and correcting misconceptions about sharks. Over time, it grew in popularity and became a hit on the Discovery Channel. Today being the last day of Discovery Shark Week, let's conclude it with one of the rarest shaped and extinct shark species, Helicoprion or Vol Shark. The name Helicoprion means spiral saw. Vol Shark or Helicoprions are one of the unique and extinct species of sharks. Fossils are known from a 20 million year time span during the Permian period. As with most extinct cartilaginous fish, the skeleton is mostly unknown. But almost all fossils found from vole sharks are spirally arranged clusters of the teeth. The unique teeth always grabs attention and gives way for most asked question how many teeth does a helicoprion have? It is now generally agreed that the structure is indeed complex and might be composed of up to 180 teeth. Due to the terrifying buzz saw in the jaw, they are also known as buzz saw killer. The unusual tooth arrangement is thought to have been an adaption for feeding on soft bodied prey and may have functioned as a detailing mechanism for hard bodies. Fossils of Helicoprion have been found worldwide, as the genus is known from Russia, Western Australia, China, Kazakhstan, Japan, Laos, Norway, Canada, Mexico, and the United States. As per scientists guess, vol shark size may have grown up to 25 feet long and 1,000 pounds in weight. Many believe a Helicoprion is a dinosaur descendant. But studies confirm it's not a dinosaur and some studies say although Helicoprion closely resembles a shark, it's not actually a shark, but it's shark-like cartilaginous fish. And one of the most interesting facts about Helicoprion is that it managed to survive the Permian Triassic extinction event, an extinction level event which killed 90% of all marine animals and 70% of all land animals. These were some of the interesting facts of one of the rare and extinct species of oceans of the world. Do share your thoughts and comments.